What's up? Bearded Fish Keeper here. Happy Friday, everybody. Got a little project for you. We're going to build an aquaponics system. What's aquaponics? Eh, you put a box on top of your tank, run a pump through it, grow plants. We're going to go a little bit more in depth than that. But this is what you're going to need. You're going to need a pump, rubber hose, push the water in. You're going to need your bell siphon, which consists of a 2 inch cap, 2 inch pipe, with some V notches cut out of it. I'll show you what that's for in a little bit. You need 1 inch pipe, two different sizes. Yeah, they can be the same size. It's for your exit. Water comes in, your rubber goes out your PVC. You're going to need a little bit of silicone and an oil. That's all you're going to need. Let's build this. Alright, first things first. You're going to take your planter box. I got a 36 inch planter box from Lowe's for like $10.49. You're going to take your in hose, the one that comes from your pump. Right? You're going to cut a hole. You're going to take this, put it on there, mark it with a pencil, take your noise, cut it out. Same thing for this side. Take your piece, mark it with a pencil, take your knife, and cut it out. Pretty simple. Once you get that done, you're going to take this L, all right, and insert it through your bottom. That didn't sound good. Then you're going to take your rubber, you're going to insert it through the other hole, other hole, all right? That one, go about an inch in. Then you're going to want to make your bell cap. Pretty simple. So this pipe here, you're going to want this to be an, about an inch, inch or so, underneath what gravel you're going to be putting in here. Your clay pellets, lava rock, pea gravel. People use pretty much anything that water can run through. But you're going to want this pipe to be about an inch under what substrate you're going to put in there. Then. You're going to want to take your cap, your two inch cap. You want to put a hole in the side of it so you can run some air airline tubing. To do that, you get your knife. You bore a hole into it. If you don't got a drill bit, use a nice knife. Alright, got your air hose in it, put it in there. If you get it tight, you don't got to silicone it. Then you're going to get your piece of two inch pipe. You're going to put it in here. And these two should sit pretty much the same height. I think this pipe comes up about another half an inch or so. You know, so you get this to where you want it. Cut this pipe uh, probably about uh, a quarter inch shorter than that because we have the top to deal with it's rounded we want kind of the top to be really close to this once you cut it to size then you're going to grab some like tin snips drill bit pretty much anything like that I just took some tin snips super easy just cut some triangles in it so water is going to be able to flow through it when it sits on the bottom of the planter box. Take your cap, mount them together. Super simple. After you get done with that, you know how high this pipe's gonna be. You know where you want this pipe to be. This one, put it in an inch. That's about it. You're gonna silicone this. You're gonna silicone around the top on the inside. Don't worry about doing it on the outside because if you silicone on the inside, it is sealed. Let's silicone it. 
All right, so the silicone it. I'm going to take a 100% silicone. Most people know how to use these, but if you don't, quick rundown. Pull this out. Most of them have a snipper. You go snip, snip, snip. Take your little stabber. Stab, stab, stab. Boom. Put it in. Drop that down. Push it down. Pretty simple. So, we know what's high, what height we want this at because we want an inch below where the substrate's going to sit. Take our silicone, run a small bead, around each side. Take your finger, smoosh that in there. Get your fingers nice and dirty. Don't worry about getting dirty. Always make sure to bring your towel. We're going to do that to that side, then we're going to do that to this side. Smush it in there. There we go. Pretty much, we're set up. We're ready to go. Let's get it up on the, I don't know, what I'm going to call my test tank nowadays. Let's do that. All right. Here it is. It's running. It's doing its job. Got the pump sucking in water over there. Got the outlet bringing out water there. So what happens is up here. Oh, let's get up here. Water's going up. It'll reach to the top of here. This will create what is a siphon, which will suck all of the water out into the tank. All right, let's watch it go. Check it out. It's getting to the top of it. And there's the siphon. It is now going down. As you can see, lots of water pouring out. Water levels dropping. All right? So, to set how far you want your water to drop, you're going to have to take this little line, bring it down to maybe about an inch hanging off the ground. When you get your substrate and whatnot, you can bury it in there, cut it to where you want it to go. And that's how you create an aquaponic system. Hopefully you learned something. Hopefully you liked it. If you did, hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Hell, share it to somebody if you want it. But hey, I'm going to be doing a project every Friday. So let's do this. I'll see you next Friday. Y'all have a good weekend.